Okay, I don't know am I early or late, that is super cut, depends on how you look at it, but yeah. I think this is gonna be a bit different, I'm gonna play for like 5 days and then just upload it, because I try to get this video out like before this game dies out basically. And yeah, I have no idea what my world's name is. And yeah, basically how the difficulties go, there's custom difficulty where you can make the game absolute hell on yourself, but it's not uh, fun hard. I think if there would be like very hard option, I would pick it, but yeah, we are just gonna go hard, and yes, I'm a casual, I know. Wait, so I can't edit the color of my beard. Well, that sucks. Okay, I guess I'll have white beard with pink hair. It's kinda fine. And yeah, if you haven't played this game, you probably heard the phrase Pokemon with guns and it's somewhat accurate. This is like Pokemon Dark Souls arc. Somewhat. And we actually gain at level just by picking berries. But yeah, we pick a Pokeball and a little bit of food here. There's basically hunger bar and Pokemon have hunger bar and everything honestly has hunger bar. And I'm probably gonna fast forward the early game because nothing is gonna happen really and I feel like it's not gonna be that interesting. I feel like if I have to say something about this game I genuinely like the Pokemon designs more than the like newer Pokemon designs or like the I mean PAL designs if you want to be that kind. I will most likely just be calling these things Pokemons because it's just so, so much easier than calling them PALs. Also yeah, let's just craft everything, or like the basic tools, you basically need them to exist. Yep. And yeah, let's actually put the points now, I think I'm gonna pick up uh, max carry weight, honestly, I'm gonna put them all to carry weight. I should probably be deciding where I pulled my first base, but uh, I kinda don't want to make it here. And yeah, we actually found our first egg, but it's not gonna be relevant. Uh, for a while. I am not completely sure what those things do exactly, but you can up your character with those at least. I not I don't know is there like anything else what you can do with those. And yeah, I need slave to help me, so I guess you will be it. I'm gonna catch these things to help me now. It is very warmly recommended that you catch every Pokemon you see or like every different Pokemon since you get bonus experience for catching new Pokemons and uh, yeah, experience is kinda the thing in this game. And yeah, basically what these things are, you have to learn to craft everything, so basically these points de 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 determine what you can take, and yeah, there is quite a lot of stuff, and we are gonna take honestly everything, or like, everything that I need here. I think the lamb bars are like the best thing you can catch on the early game, since they help you with everything. Okay, I didn't record, but yeah, I got this thing and I got the level. I forgot to press record. I am basically turning record off at all times because there is just kinda nothing happening. But yeah, we are picking up stamina here a little bit. My bed placement is horrible, but yeah, this will do. I feel like I'm not gonna use this base, base for much. This is just gonna be the starting base. Because I really can't explore during the night at the low levels. This thing can help me cook food faster, so I'm gonna catch that. I am honestly gonna catch everything because that's kinda the thing in this game. But yeah, what I can do now, I can take this guy out, then put berries in here, take fuck ton of them actually, and then just cook them. I think I'll run further away to build my first base. I really don't want to build it like next to some warp because that feels kinda wasted. And yeah, let's actually take this chicken. And my fox apparently just murdered it, but yeah, basically all the Pokemon have different natures, so they like excel at the different things, some are better at slaves and some are better at battles. Yeah. 
And here in there we actually see our first boss, or like actual boss. The tutorial actually puts you there, or like go, it's like yeah, go there. And it's pretty hard if you go in there instantly. It's gonna be a while when I go in there. And there's a bandit camp, they are basically just uh, the villains of this game and they are pretty useless if they are same level as you or like even uh, like remotely close level as you. You can get like different Pokemon from them and some free experience honestly, you kinda just kill them. Okay, he dealt so much damage actually. Let's not, let's not die here. Okay, this was surprisingly hard. I didn't expect, I feel like when I played this the first time, I was a lot stronger. And we get handgun ammo from, ammo from these guys. Dude, please die. I don't have stamina to hit him. Okay, so now I'm somewhat close to the place where I want to build my base. There's two early game bosses near me. There's level 11 chillet and level 15 banking. There's no way I can kill neither of them at the moment, but when I can kill them, it's great experience to get and pretty close by. I just need to find semi flat land now. And yeah, this is where we get our workers. He's basically just a willing slave at this point. But yeah, that's like the main core of this thing, or like this game. I am not gonna probably go over everything or like every item in this game, because this will be like, uh, I don't know, 10 hours video then. In here I can repair my stuff. My axe already broke multiple times. This kind of feels morally wrong, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, that is a night time only encounter, I really want to catch this. Because this is pretty good encounter this early on. And my lambal is fucking stupid. Yeah. And basically by upgrading your base you get more pals in your base. I try not to call them slaves. At the moment what I'm doing, I'm basically just doing the early missions, what is it that, uh, yeah, catch stuff. It's, it's the thing of this game, please do it. I had a mission that I had to catch five lamb balls and that was, that was my fifth, also I'm kinda killing these chickens, so I can get food. And yeah, you have to put stuff for your slaves. So they don't get uh, fucking depressed and uh, major injuries. Basically they will just not know to do anything if you don't build this stuff to them. Okay, I don't know what levels me up, but I'll take it. Okay, for the last day I have been just hitting rocks and woods, so I can make uh, somewhat automatic farms. So basically what these do, you can assign someone in here just to collect wood like this, and yeah, that's gonna be their life most likely. Oh, I feel like this game is a bit of a base building simulator, which is definitely the most boring part of the game. But you kinda have to do this at some point. With this you can upgrade your pals and yourself, and with that you can make stuff for your pals. I feel like this is completely useless, but I'm still doing it. And yeah, I can uh, probably somewhat uh, start progressing or like do something that is not base building. All my homeboys are helping me. I think oh. I'll engage on my actual like quote unquote hard combat. Because this thing is a uh, few levels higher than me. Actually, I, I tried to throw my daydream, but I accidentally throw a ball. Okay, I didn't get one, one tapped, which is a surprise. Now I one tapped. <laughs> I will honestly try that again. I will just sit this one out and let my thing, let the daydream do its thing. And I fucked the catching. 
This sketch will be somewhat relevant pretty soon. That will be my first mount or thing that I can ride. That is definitely doable. That's the level 10. And that's straight up a malpa, just, but just better. And let's hope I don't attack the level 38 Mammorest, because he's gonna clap my ass. That is just better mount, I could say, but yeah, it's gonna be a while when I can use that. Basically what these two do, respectively, I can ride Malpakas with this and uh, this allows Daydream to come out when uh, I have another Pokemon out, so basically I can have two at the one the once, but the other one has to be Daydream, Daydream. And actually finally my first piece of clothing, I didn't even bother to make the verse, since I can just sleep during the night. And now it's time to finally explore a little bit and kill some of the stuff. Basically what I'm doing now, we are just uh, getting level. And there's our first dungeon, these are pretty great. You can get some uh, like uh, different or like a little bit rare spawn from there and uh, some uh, pretty great loot. But yeah, that was level 13 dungeon, I think I'll take like level 10 and go in there. Yeah. And yeah, this is basic NPC village, you can sell your stuff here and you can buy some, I don't know, pals. I would not recommend it because uh, they are mostly ripoffs. Yeah. Maybe I should craft better weapon, even though they are pretty useless, or honestly, I am pretty useless. I mean, I just literally watch where my pals kill stuff. And I Okay, I got fucking molested, never mind. Okay, hi, I'm back, please don't kill me. Okay, well, never mind. I think those are first actual hostiles that uh, attack you for no reason. I think this is our first lucky pal. I think he just gives you more experience and is somewhat better, but yeah, let's try it. I am very confident that I can do the level 13 dungeon now. But yeah, what basically happens here, there is uh, some tugs and then boss at the end of this. Okay, that was unnecessarily hard. Okay, and there's the boss. We actually have boss and a lucky one, so this is pretty alright. I don't know do I need to catch the lucky one to get experience, but yeah. I already have this, so I'm not gonna I'm not that stoked about this. I'm kind of just dipping right now, because I already got the boss, and if I die here, I'm gonna, I have to run like 10 miles. But I really want to greet for that lucky one, because I get more experience. Okay, so that was necessary death. And for now on, this will be like the salt of the game, you always will need this, but this is so painful to actually main.
it is needed so you can make these. I actually saw what Pokemon these guys had, and I really want it. It's pretty good in the early game, and it is this uh, get the whiskers. But yeah, he's pretty good. Or like his typing is very good. Okay, currently I'm building hot springs for my Pokemons, but there is a new pal. I am pretty sure the hot springs increases my pals uh, sanity in the my base, so they, they don't go insane. It's level 3 though. You will get rewarded later on for catching multiple of the same, but yeah, basically you can combine Pokemons and take it stronger. I don't know, will I use Daydream for long, but yeah, I'm is easily my best at the moment, so I'm kind of just match catching these. And now I can finally make metal tools. They are basically just faster, but yeah, it's pretty big. I'm gonna make metal axe and pickaxe. I kinda only see this guy as a daydream, but better. Okay, and there was apparently my favorite pal probably, or like a favorite name at least, because he's just, he's just the rest dude. I don't know what way they think when they name that guy, but I love it. Okay, and this is my first overworld boss. This should be pretty easy. I don't really care, can I catch this guy? I kinda just want the experience. But yeah, he's already getting pummeled. We kind of just uh, spectate and watch uh, my pals go. Yeah. I actually had like two bars, so yeah. And now I can unlock incubators, basically they are literally what you think they are. They make you hatch eggs. I am not really sure are the eggs really worth anything, but yeah, you can hatch them if you like. I can actually ride with the chillet, so he is not as useless as I thought. I guess I kill all the level 11 bosses now. Because it's a kind of now or never, so they might be like borderline challenging. Okay, we didn't get it, but that's fine. Okay, I went for another dungeon. This uh, there is at least one new. The fucking tentacle of this game. Okay, I just kind of level by just picking Pokeball up. Another faster dungeon boss. Okay, I think there's the last uh, level 11 boss. It's uh, Sweba. It's basically just a mass of fur, and I kinda like him. I am big fan of the, I don't know, dumb looking designs. Or like dumb fun looking designs. And I killed him. I guess I have to rebel this, or if I can just catch that Pokemon somewhere, I really don't care, is it boss or not. And this is the banking boss next to my base. This is level 15. This should be fine. I'm level 14 now. I am at the moment just power leveling because I kind of have nothing else to do. I think the hardest part about this boss fight is getting third party fired by the small penguins, because I can't really kill them at the moment. And my own penguin is getting clapped.
Don't do that. I'm gonna die probably to the small penguins. Okay. I got the boss, but I died. Also, even through the big penguin was pretty little, I'm still gonna take it because it's evolved stage. Or like, that's what I'm calling it. We can finally fly in this game. Also, I unlocked great balls, but I need this to make them. And this is the machine that I talked about. You can combine uh, pulse with this. Basically, you sacrifice weaker pulse to make stronger pulse stronger. And yes, basically how this works, we put one in and then we just sacrifice this. So he, he becomes stronger. I don't know, will I use Daydream for long though? Down there is a cool pal, but he's gonna kick my ass. I kinda just savored that thing. That is a fire Pokemon that can fly, so I kinda want this. And I killed them both. It is not the end of the world that I didn't get those. It's just better fly at some point. I guess round two. Yeah. Why is it so goddamn hard? Wow. Okay, there you go. And there is a pretty late game boss. Level 45. We are just gonna take this and deep. actually work slave. The natures in this game are something else, since there is a masochist and sadist one also. Okay, I just did this and I got level I didn't record because I didn't expect to get that much experience. I really don't know do this do anything else other than increase my catch rate, which is still pretty alright. Okay, this is a bit weird because I thought he would be in the water, but he's outside of the water. But yeah, I'm finally here. This was pretty long journey because my base is like right here. And here is like level 45 boss and level here is level 14 boss that I wanted to kill. I'd say the map is... Uh, it's decided pretty weirdly. But yeah, I guess they just want you to travel. Yeah. I guess I just can't catch anything. Like literally none of the bosses just get caught. But yeah, that boss is definitely one of those bosses that I just exist and my penguin just solos it. Okay, this boss might be a little bit of gamble because I think my damage output is insanely slow to this guy, but yeah, let's try it. I mean, my do mode is kinda doing it. I honestly hate the daydream, he just kinda blocks my vision. But yeah, I will definitely just try again. I really kinda just want to kill my daydream here, so I can see the enemy's projectiles. Is my chillet useless or what? What are you doing, dude? And then you just start to stare down. Bro, Chillet is about to get benched after this. Okay, and the Nightwing boss, this should be a little bit easier. The problem will be to get it to aggro. My 
my own right wing is kind of owning it. And yeah, I actually haven't fought this one yet. Yeah. That was actually so much damage in one hit. Okay, so far this has been so easy. Okay, this was probably the easiest boss fight so far. I am pretty sure I get level from this. Okay, there's level 3 at the Afant. That is lucky. I guess I'll cast this and see how much I get experience. I think it's like 500 or something. It's just I kinda have only one shot at this, because my pals are instantly gonna kill it if he doesn't get caught. This is like a drug to me, collecting these, even though they kinda don't do anything to me. Okay, there's a new oh. one. But I didn't even know that this thing can spawn this early. Or like this is probably like the mega harmless variant of this. Yeah. The other hunter just doesn't, don't care. And yeah, that was different variant of the Hedgehog that we already saw. Yeah. I really don't want to use that, but I'm using it. There's a new Pokemon, but I really don't want to use any more Ultra Balls, so I guess I will let this one go. Wait, there's so many orbs showing. And yes, I'm gonna collect them all. And yeah, since my pals are constantly hungry, I had to build this, but I kind of forgot, but yeah, basically they just uh, feed themselves. Okay, we actually got something new, but yeah, I, I expected nothing. I am pretty intrigued by this, I can turn someone a butcher, so he straight up just kills other pals, and I get more stuff from that. Okay, never mind, it turns out I killed the pal. So, oh god. Also, I'm pretty sure I didn't even get anything, so I got lied to, and my game crashed. Oh yeah, I had to draw this slot earlier. I kind of forgot, because you can definitely draw this like, I think, a level 13 or 12. These are like the quote-unquote bosses of this game. Yeah, maybe it's actually good, since I don't know can I solo it in the 10 minutes. Like at the like low levels. And yeah, what basically happens here we watch that our Dumud kills that solo. Because I cannot really lose to this. It is just kinda tedious because she has 30k HP. My daydream could help my Dumud, but she just decides not to. There really isn't risk of losing. This at the moment is a bit dangerous place, because there is uh, quite few hostiles kind of, that kinda of just kill me, if they want to. But yeah, let's hope everyone shows us peace in here. I kinda of just want this marker. There is pretty good flying Pokemon, but uh, I think he's gonna clap me at the moment if I try to catch him. I think I'm still gonna try it. Okay, I can kill them. 
But I feel like my catching is not there yet. And now I unlock first gun in the game. I actually take this and uh, probably still no do damage and then a uh, different flying mode and gunpowder. I tried to get solid nature to this guy, but I simply just didn't get it, so I guess I just go with the aggressive one. I guess I'll put the wheat farm here. I don't know will I ever use that, but I need that for the base upgrade. And I can afford to put the weapon workbench, but I can't afford to buy the weapon or craft the weapon. I think that will be the next boss. I think my worm is a bit handicapped by being so low level, but I feel like it's fine. And for now on, I think all the bosses will be at least level 23, and I feel like there was quite a lot of these uh, 23s. Even through when I played this offline with my friend, the level 23s were pretty easy. Hmm. Let's actually kill the daydream now, so he does at least something. I feel like this boss will be easier than the penguin because he doesn't have minions. This guy kind of just throws slow projectiles. I am starting to feel I should have brought my eagle here just for the DPS because all my Pokemon are kind of low DPS. I only have chill that left, but yeah, I can definitely just kill this. But I would really like to catch this. Okay, that could have been disaster because everyone else died except the shit as chillet. I think fell, but it's just a daydream, but better, so it's time to replace it finally. And there's the next boss, King Paka. This was a pretty easy, at least on multiplayer. I think on multiplayer I had like Tombat, who basically just soloed this. Also I might be able to catch something now, because I don't have Daydream anymore, who was just the last hits everyone from 1 HP. Okay, I can just spam my balls here, this is pretty much done. They should make this boss honestly a lot earlier. I, I accidentally almost got one tapped by something, I have no idea what even hit me. And then Guivern, I'm hoping to catch this and then replace my furret with that. I mean chillet. And I accidentally <laughs> throw a ball instantly. This boss fight might be a little bit slow, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna win this. If I'm not horribly wrong, ice is uh, super effective against the dragon. Or I don't know, is it ice or water, honestly. He had some move that he was super effective against that. I am pretty sure Ice is super effective against the Dragon, it's just the Chillet's output damage output is still very low, even though he has super effective. And he just died. Even though my penguin is Ice type, I have no idea does he have Ice type move anymore. I genuinely feel like Felbot does more damage, with just the neutral hits. Well, that is fucking depressing. Okay, I got it, but I died. I literally had like my grandma's reflexes for some reason for half of a second, and I died instantly. And a mandatory dungeon. I actually got something new. There was Arsox, which is pretty nice boss, honestly. Or like, it's, it will be pretty nice to have this as a worker, basically, but yeah. 
Also while I was at the dungeon I got this. Also there are shocks that I got was muscle head, so basically he sucks at working. And then Katres. I think this is a dark type and that's why I wanted the dragon. So he is super effective. Even though it probably is just that I turn my bat in and he kinda kills this. My dragon had pretty bad nature because he minus the attack. I think I'm gonna catch new one at some point. I don't know will I show it, but yeah, I will do it. Okay, and down there is the next boss. We will just Assassin's Creed it and wash it up from up here, I guess. If my bear decides to attack it. I got to say this has to be the most intense boss fight I had so far. I could literally just take a shit at this point, but I kinda want to catch this. But yeah, to these things defense, I feel like none of the 23 boss fights are pretty hard, except like this can be pretty interesting because he has teleport and I have no idea how that works. Yeah. Okay, there are enemies, but they don't care. I can't save it the best for last, because this is the best pal, and uh, this is probably the hardest match. Hmm. And I... Okay, yeah, don't do that. I threw a Pokeball instead of my pal accidentally. Okay, try to. Okay, thank god he has an animation. I was not sure does he have animation on the teleport. Okay, science the teleport is so doable, this is pretty easy actually, you kinda just exist. It just he takes a surprising amount of damage. That a dodge though. I don't know, will I add this dude to the party? He's pretty good, he's definitely better than my fire pokemon currently, but my fire pokemon at the moment is my flyer, and he kinda has immunity because of that. But yeah, he's a pretty good worker, at least if something. I guess one pal can sleep indoors with me. As long as it's not chilled, it's fine. I don't know how my pals are producing so much berries, but I'll take it. I expect nothing. And yeah, I was rightfully so. I feel like the play is just to catch 10 of everything in this game to maximize your experience. And then literally just ignore those after the 10. Like even those level 3 chickens give me almost 2k experience. And here we have it, my fucking makeshift handgun. That's something that I would not expected to see while playing Ghetto Pokemon. And on other note, we get better armor. Even through this armor gun just shows up my ass, but yeah. Okay, I was struggling with the box system, but there was this beautiful man who can buy all my useless pals. Okay, I was a bit confused as why that boss didn't show up where it showed in the map, but yeah, I used my mad gamer skills and figured out that you have to go through the waterfall. Wow. I have two super effectives to this guy. I have no idea about his moves though, which is a bit terrifying. Look, I'm contributing. I shot him in the head and did 7 damage. I am contributing so much, and I'm useless. Oh no! I actually lived that hit though, like my armor actually mattered. I guess I'm covering in fear back here.
If he doesn't get caught, I'm so dead. Okay, that was a bit terrifying, but yeah, he was pretty squishy. And the challenge will be, can I get out of here? I got to say this is a bit scuffed. I don't know, am I deeper in the cave at the moment, or am I out? Because I cannot see anything. I guess the one way I get out is that I die, because I have no idea where the entrance is at the moment. Except there is this. I can actually kill myself, I don't need to wait. Okay, I got my stuff, but he spawned again, so I guess I will just uh, catch him again, I guess. Okay, and now it's finally time to slow down with the bosses a little bit. We have a few places to explore. The game kinda expects you to take few levels now, because the next level boss is like 28 and I'm 25. So I guess I'll take few levels, catch few new ones. I don't the first quote on quote new area is the grass area where we already went like earlier, but now we can actually not get clapped instantly here if we someone attacks us. There is new one and there is the cool looking Pokemon. I'm having to get everything and new bird. This is pretty alright placeholder grass type, but we are soon getting better one. I kinda miss my old armor at the moment, since I can't really be outside effectively at the night because I constantly take damage. I accidentally hit someone outside of the battle with the ball and I got third party fired. I am kinda just catching stuff and moving forward. I have not seen this one yet. Is it suicide bombing though? Apparently yes. Surprisingly, there was female version of the bee as well. Yeah. And the other place is this desert. I feel like I could have came here earlier, but uh, there is really no reason. There is one new ground type at the moment for me. And uh, it's slightly better than Dumud. I will definitely try to catch more Dumuds. Don't take example of that, but yeah. And there is the new ground Pokemon. That is slightly better than Dumud. But you get Dumud lot earlier. And it's easier to upgrade. And honestly, I like Dumuds design lot more. And then there were these birds that they don't feel well. At least that's how they look. They try to suicide, basically. Thank God I have this. And there's the main attraction of this place. And I, I don't want to fight you. Just chill. Let, let me live. Don't do it. It was like 15 balls. The great balls are really getting outscaled at the moment. And yes, the desert is somewhere in here. We are right now, like here somewhere. And I'm trying to find a warp and go back home. This is a very late game place. I don't know what the wild Pokemons are here, like level 35 or something. Okay, there's a warp and there's a wild Pokemon. It's level 40, so yeah, we are gonna get out. Okay, yeah, since now I'm level 28, it's time to go back for the bosses. We start with this. It's also level 28. I think the next one will be 29. But yeah, that will be fine. 
I feel like this guy is also pretty good cross type attacker, but we are gonna get better one soon. And I'm gonna use that better one probably for the end of times. It's gonna be probably like my first actual permanent battle. My damage is still pretty depressing with the guns. I have been upping my attack a little bit, but it's still pretty pathetic. I think I can already get better balls at the moment, but I'm using my ultras. Okay, we are at the next boss, it's here, and I feel like he might be sleeping at the moment. This is a bit difficult, because I can't see jack shit on my room at the moment. I feel like this might be better in the night time, because there isn't so much third party fire at the moment. I remember doing this with my friend and we got a third party fired as fuck. And apparently I left all my ammo at home, so I guess I'm not contributing. And apparently he got bit burst down. I think I will catch him later on off screen, I guess. At least I can get consolation prize. Lop moon. I wonder do I take fall damage if I drop the water? I guess I'll test it. But yeah, in serious note, there's a boss. I am located right here at the moment. I wonder do I get lost here again? I have been running so far. It is grass water, which is pretty interesting. Apparently he doesn't gain resistance to fire, he is still weak to it, even though he is a water type. Okay, yeah, that sucks. I feel like if I was smart, I would literally just leave at the moment. Dude, what is my fish doing? I actually found my stuff in the beast black. But yeah, his attack pattern was so easy, I'm gonna try it again with just few. I think I got it since I saved, or like my game saved. But yeah, that was a very easy boss fight, I just uh, died. I have not been here yet, but apparently there are new pearls instantly. These weird looking things. I will just catch them all for experience. What I have been doing now off screen, I literally have been catching at the end of everything. And here we are, Varsek. I have been kind of waiting for this, because this will be in our team forever probably. I have no idea where his hitbox is actually. I feel like I can I only have to headshot him, but I feel like even that didn't work. Yep. 
I almost jumped onto that. I think the eye is the weak spot, apparently. And he kind of just drag it there. That is probably one of the better players that I can get, and I'm seeing it again. I need to get out of here, I'm dying. I definitely have no idea how the freezing works, because I feel like time to time you just uh, don't take damage from the freeze. I don't know, is it internet or is it just bugged? Okay, right there I got this, I don't know, do I have to put the key for it? And yes, as bad as this feels, we are gonna replace two mood with this, and this thing will be in our team, probably forever, if I don't get better, if I don't get better one. Okay, I went for the boss fight and there were apparently some riders already attacking the boss, but yeah, we are here. Yeah. I am not 100% sure what is super effective against the dragon, but I think it's ice. I think that's a water type attack. Okay, I think it's not ice. Well, never mind. I really wanted to get rid of the third party fire. I guess he just gave up on trying to hit me with anything, and he just runs for me. Okay, that was pretty hard, and he was a pacifist. Even though he started to attack random Pokemons instead of me. Okay, uh, there was Black Marketer. I brought uh, this from him. I don't know, can I get this without uh, like getting my settlement raided or buying it? Yes, you can. Okay, yeah, I wanted to point out that Lucky Catres. I don't know, will I bother trying to catch it? It's just experience, honestly. Literally just catching duplicates and grinding. Okay, so for the last four hours of my life I have been only catching these things because I am planning to use this on permanent team. This will most likely be my flyer and I finally got one that is uh, Musclehead and uh, this will be replacing Felbat and uh, Van Wurm will be just replaced at some point. Also I got better Warsect, so I'm replacing this. Basically Hooligan increases attack. Also, yes, I know I could get like ultra legendary late game dark type, but I kinda don't want to use quote unquote legendaries even in this game. Or like at least I try not to use them. If I get hard stuck, I guess I have to, but uh, I really want to try to use this. Okay, there's a lucky priest. I don't know are those rare, but I'm literally just hunting the ghost beard that I'm using. Also, I very briefly visited the Volcano Arena and got this, which is just the same one worm as mine, but just better, because this has freshers. I also got the muscle head, but it's on level 14, so I, I don't bother, I will just replace this. I just realized my own one was so much better. Oh well. My only copy of that I was gonna replace it anyways. Okay, that was unexpected level. I got bit over level there, I got to be honest. I wanted to stay 31. Pretty sure this right here just makes my pokeballs come faster. Which is still alright. Also I feel like I need that for the my fucking I don't know what comes after Ultra Ball honestly. But yeah that. And with this I can make a bigger feeding bag and I can make a shield that regenerates. And basically tanks one hit for me.
got this offline for electricity. And now we get better balls, we get better gun, and we get shield that blocks hits, I guess, and it regenerates. I'm not sure completely how it works, but I assume it's uh, same as in like Borderlands or something. For the like next 10 or 15 minutes I accidentally left my recording on monitor capture instead of game capture. And now that we reach top of the mountain, there's logically boss here, and I think it's the grass type boss. For some reason it's like top of the icy mountain, but yeah, I'll take it. I think I could have came here earlier, at like 25 or something. I actually kinda deal damage, that makes me wish that I would have crafted more ammo. Okay, apparently the makeshift one is pretty good as well, but yet this boss should be pretty easy since we have super effective. I just need to not let my file type die here. I believe I actually died to it. Okay, that wasn't hard, but I was literally just bad. Okay, I actually didn't record the beginning of the fight, but yet now we grow up of level 31 bosses. The first one is Univolt. We have seen this one already as the non less non boss. And I'm gonna. Okay, that was surprisingly doable. I was expecting to die here. And there we have our next one, Mosanda Lux. We actually get quite a few electric types now, which is pretty nice because I don't have any of them yet really. Or like I have one, which is the beard that I got off screen. And yeah, these are mostly just workers. I kinda don't need electric type, and I don't really plan on using one, honestly. Okay, well he kinda got boosted down, I will just redo that at some point. And last one of the electric trio is Relaxar Slugs, basically just electric dinosaur that we have seen. And we basically just watch Varsek solo all of these, he kinda just sits on electric types. Devote's Mineshaft, this is another boss in cave. I definitely wanted to come here during like morning or day, because I will get lost in the cave again. I genuinely have no idea do they expect you to have like lanterns with you to not get lost in the caves, but yeah we have this V dude. Yeah, basically in the next clip I decided to make quality of life change for myself, so basically what I did, I took refined ingots, I took I think 30 of them, so I could make the saddle full health fur. So basically yeah, that's cheated, but I will talk about it later on. 
I can fly with Helsefur. I feel like Helsefur is a little bit faster than the Firebeard that I had. I literally can't remember the name. He just looks like Galarian Moltres to me. And this guy's like a Corva Knight or something. And then the only level 32 boss, Lunaris. I have no idea what typing this guy even is, but I'm gonna assume it's ice. And he was normal actually, so never mind. My health severe is kinda murdering here. And for the next boss we simply just go forward from the place we fought the grass lady. We are like here. And yeah, this is probably gonna be next boss for a while because the next boss is level 38, this is 35 and yeah I got the grind. And it wasn't even that boss actually that was some level 40 boss. But yeah it's somewhere close by. Even through this boss is two levels higher than me, this should be pretty free. I feel like during my next grind I'm gonna get my next fire pokemon and that will probably be permanent, most likely. There's a chance it's not, but uh, most likely it will. And I'm pretty sure I actually have that fire pokemon already, but we can just get it better leveled. And yeah, now I just have to grind. The next boss is approximately 38 and I'm 33 and I think I'm gonna grind to 38 since the next boss after those will be level 40. So I kinda just have to keep myself at somewhat good level constantly, but yeah level 50 is the cap. I feel like most of my grinding will be happening here. This is the Volcano Arena, there is basically just uh, fire pokemons. And I'm intended I'm intending to get a new one right here. Okay, there's a few new ones. I'm gonna must catch all of these at some point, but yeah, I have one good planet out that I really want to use. I don't know is he any good, but at least he has high damage. And that's kinda the only thing that matters to me honestly. We are kind of just scaling the mountain at the moment and trying to make up. There is next boss, but yeah, we have to be like level 40 at least to get in there. Also, this place looks pretty cool during the night. I feel like I have to go a little bit further to get the pal that I really want to use. Or at least try to use, I don't know, does he suck actually? Also, here those rocks are sulfur and you need them for ammo, mostly. Okay, at the moment I'm behind the volcano. This is also an encounter that you can get very early, but I simply just didn't get it. And we are getting it now. I feel like you can get this earlier if you get your place rided. I simply just uh, didn't. And he got one shotted. And there they are, Dark Fire. I really want to use this guy as my fire type. I already have one, but it's level 9. Even through its muscle head, but I'm gonna match ca must cast, cast these. Basically, try not to one shot them. And yeah, Incineram, basically he sucks at everything but attacking, so that's that's great. Also, apparently you can get pushy from here, but yeah, I'm gonna catch like a million Incinerams. Okay, I got the next one, I got the level, actually. I don't know why my pal is tweaking out and it's changing color. 
it's a bit distracting, but yeah, it's the yellow one that I drew. Yeah. I apparently got achievement seasoned pal tamer. Okay, we actually found a peaceful settlement. This is pretty cool change for the fact that everyone tries to kill me at here. I have been collecting fuck ton of those, but yeah, I stopped showing them because I feel like you guys don't care about that. Okay, I have no idea what leveled me up again. I tried to catch this, but he died again, and I have no idea where his body even went. But yeah, I feel like that is the thing what leveled me up. Okay, and I have been catching quite a few incinerams, but I finally got my muscle head. I feel like his actual attack stat is pretty ass, but he's kinda carried by the muscle head, and basically what the muscle head does, he sucks at working, but he's great at battle. And yeah, he kind of just dies and does lots of damage. Okay, shit, I was using monitor capture instead of game capture. Pardon me if the footage looked uh, like uh, overly shit at the time to times. Because I feel like the monitor capture can't really keep up with the frame rate. Okay, I thought I had everything, but apparently this, this guy exists. Let's shoot him in the ass. I actually thought this was just a basic Leibank, but this is some different variant. Also, there was apparently different Land Shark variant, or like the thing that we saw. I think the one we had was like blue. In the early game. Also, I feel like I need to restart my game because my Pokeballs are having a stroke. I don't know, do the variants even count as a new Pokemon or like uh, Dex entries, but yeah, I'll take it. Also, there is some futuristic looking Salamence who is level 50, so yeah, a peace homeboy. I think that is a nighttime only encounter. It was new Pokemon, I think, and different variant of it. I think the normal one is just on fire. Also, there's Blaze Hole, who is also knocked. I just took that guy's life savings. I know I will get this later on, but I'm buying them now. Just in case. And yeah, I think I had fucked enough stuff to unlock now. And yeah, this thing right here is like the whole new thing. Uh, basically, you can get better iron with this, and it's used to craft literally anything from now on. And yeah, me saying this is a team effort would be pretty understatement. I think I have a little bit of stuff to do in my base right now. I generally have no idea what the max base level is, also I could make another base at the moment, but I really don't need it. And here are the 50 refined ingots that I cheated for earlier, and yeah, there they go. Okay, and the reason why I even cheated, I thought I would have more pals that needed to be level up, so I kinda wanted to free up the slot for the flyer, but in the end I didn't even need that. So yeah, I kinda cheated for nothing, so yeah, my bad. But yeah, in other note, we get bigger feeling back, then we get my fucking spare launcher, which sounded so bizarre I wanted to try it, and then we get even better balls. Also, I get better armor. My current is 105 and the new one is 150. Okay, hi, what's up? How inaccurate is this, dude? What the fuck is this? I wonder if the catch rate bigger with the bazooka, but yeah, I'm definitely not gonna use this. 
But yeah, on serious note, now we kind of have Crash Trio of bosses, and yeah, we have probably the first boss you will see as a like alpha. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of just here to taunt you and be like, yeah, you can't kill this for a while, by the way. Also, I could have sworn that this was bigger level. I thought this was 38. Oh, it's not the fucking boss, I'm retarded actually. Okay, well, that was awkward. Here's the actual boss. His moves are pretty manageable. You can just stay far and your palette kind of just kills it. And yes, I know I could have made a better weapon for myself, but I kind of want to wait one more level so I can get shotgun, which is straight up better than the single shot rifle that I unlocked. Also, it is during these bosses that Incident Ram kind of just has to show me is he like it really worth anything because these bosses are kind of his thing. They are grass type. Okay, I wonder. Oh no. And there's the next one. His trio should be pretty easy. Also, I feel like this is our first offensive ulti. Basically, it's just uh, more damage. I cannot really do anything to him at the moment. Since he went into the water, none of my pals can attack him and the water. And then the last one of the trio, my favorite of them. He should be pretty free as well. Okay, he got one shot. I guess I have to catch this off screen as well, or like in a clip. He died from like 300 HP or something. At the moment I have a bit of a problem that I'm getting experience, but my pals really aren't. Or like when I get the bonus experience, I feel like my pals are not getting it. And yeah, we can just do the level 40 boss now. I'm still 38, but this should be fine. Plus the level 38s were like insanely easy. I literally didn't have to do anything. That move is pretty terrifying because I literally can't move when I command my Pokemon to do that move. I'm doing like 4 damage to him so yeah, I guess I'm just useless. But yeah, my Incineram is doing work. surprisingly hard to cast, but that wasn't really hard fight. And now I get shotgun gun that I'm actually gonna make, and we get better chest also. And yeah, I already crafted better pickaxe, I mean axe, and I have to craft better pickaxe. I think this will be the last axe slash pickaxe upgrade I will get. Okay, this pickaxe might just be the best thing ever. And let's make the shotgun now. I kind of wonder is the shotgun any good? Shotguns often in games are pretty decent, but I really want to see. Also, you guys have produced 8600 berries, and uh, does someone want to pick that up? Okay, quite a lot for this thing. Okay, now I came to the desert, which is like right here. I feel like I should not be yet here, but pretty soon. But yeah, there is really nothing from preventing me to coming here. And yeah, there's instantly new. My hair spur is probably lowing life at the moment. He's here, 1 HP and 0 hunger. He's basically just dying, but I wanted to get bored before I leave. I wonder is this place actually meaningful? Or is there just one merchant? And that's it. This looks better than the houses. Which is not very high bar. I guess I'll buy this, even though I will 100% get it at some point. This is also somewhere in here, but yeah, I know I will get it. And I'm pretty sure this is useless purchase as well, but I really don't do anything with money. 
Or wait, never mind, I can buy Facton of Ammo. And there's the Dinosaur Lux. It's basically just the early game dinosaur but electric type. And there is instantly another new Robin Quill but electric type. I mean ground type actually, never mind. I like the grass one more, even though there is kinda just a zero difference. And apparently this one is grass as well, so I was just talking shit. Ignore, try to ignore that. And there is another late game boss. We are gonna, we are not gonna come here for a while. This is the PDF tower. I have no idea are they even good guys or bad guys because the lore is kind of non-existent at the moment. Okay, I wonder what Omega Legendaries those are. There is two of them, so yeah, let's leave. Okay, apparently they have a it in this game as well. I'm just terrified that I kill it because I this is the only one I have seen. Please take this. I'd say this is nighttime only encounter. Okay, wanted to do one dungeon for fun. I think I'm gonna call it quits for the day. The next boss will be somewhere in here. He's gonna be level 43, so I have to grind a lot. I feel like before I go to my deep slumber, which is basically the grind from level 40 to 43, I should explore this new area, which is basically the snow area. It's like right here. I visited this place and there were like the level 40 Pokemons. And we actually have a new one. I think we have the other form of this, but uh, this is the basic form, I'd say. Also, I didn't know there is ice variant of the mammoth, but I guess that's new as well. And there's the big one. I really want to use that thing in my team. And yeah, he's basically like Incineram 2.0, but ice type. He was actually stronghold strategist, which means nothing to me. I kind of want the muscle head again, and yeah, I'm gonna catch like million of those things. Okay, I'm in dungeon now, and there's a new one. That looks like nighttime only encounter, honestly. I am afraid to hit it in the head, because I'm afraid that he will die. Did I literally? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, thank god there was another one. Okay, there's a chance that this dungeon is pretty great. Okay, I was recording but I fell through the ground. The dungeon is there. I literally got hit by something and uh, I, I assume I'm gonna die. Or I just respawn outside of the dungeon. Okay, I came here again, and there's a new one. I literally threw like 50 balls to that guy. And the boss changed it, goddammit. And yeah, in different areas I have been finding quite a lot of these. They are basically like the teams of this game. Okay, I'm gonna assume that some Omega Legendary as well. And now I get better weapon and better armor. Basically I have been using my last gold armor since the my refined metal armor doesn't do anything to you while warm or hot. I mean warm or gold. Also we get the base upgrade. Okay, I have two new ones at the moment. I'm pretty sure both of these are night encounters. There is the firebeard and there is this guy as like a ice type. I really need to speed run this because I'm pretty sure those guys will be spawn if I don't go to them. Also why this is kind of stressing is that in the night you can't come here without like the last armor since you die of cold even with my armor. Yeah. But yeah basically this guy is just one worm but ice type. He is definitely very solid ice type but I just decided to go with the other one. Oh yeah my pal box is full that's why the encounters are showing in the map but yeah in another note I died but I got this before dying this is a nighttime only encounter. And yeah I kind of just missed it.
I think the fun thing is for you guys, the grind will be like 5 minutes, but for me it was 5 hours, and yeah, I didn't get the good Gruelings, I got 45 of them, and none of them were Musclehead. And yes, Gruelings basically just replaces the pinking as the team's ice type, basically the Quiver is the only one who isn't going to be permanently on the team, I can spoil that much to you guys that it's a water type. Okay, I realized I missed it like 7 for the next Gruelings upgrade, and lo and behold, one of them was Musclehead, but I'm not grinding another one anymore. I am committing to this. I think the next logical thing is to take on the tower boss. I feel like the recommended cap is like level 40. And yeah, it's here. I have not played this, so I don't know what to expect. The only thing I know, I don't have my water type yet. Okay, I somehow feel like that's not a fire type. I was fully expecting fire type here. I guess we get off a little bit easy. I really can't afford to let Parsec to die this early on the fight. I actually had one more damage buff to my team that I just forgot to give. So yeah, if this fails we can definitely just rematch this and win this. But I'm gonna assume this is uh, an in the back at the moment. Okay, well, that sucks. Also, yeah, my first melee weapon, I have no idea will I ever use this honestly, but yeah, now I have it. Also, we got the glider on other note. Glider is pretty straightforward. It does exactly what you think it does. I really want to see the melee weapons damage. It's nothing notable, honestly. And now finally for the regular bosses, I have been literally just only grinding for like the last 5 hours, and I got to say this is very great change of pace. Also, if I'm not horribly wrong, this boss is also in a cave. I am genuinely a bit traumatized by the cave that I got lost in. And he was actually 46, I thought he was 43. Oh well, this should be pretty easy boss deal even though I'm in 3 levels lower. I kinda just don't deal any damage. But I feel like the alpaca bosses are just easy by nature. Okay, I was on my way to the next boss and I found Lucky Dassey that I apparently didn't record, but yeah, everyone got to like 20k experience. Okay, and I just found the entrance to the next boss. This is gonna be a bit risky move since it's coming night, and I probably have to kill myself in order to get out of here. Yeah, it's here. This is gonna be such a nightmare to navigate through again. But yeah, the boss is here. It's menastic. I have no idea honestly what I should think about this boss, he's dark and gross type, and I feel like he's pretty good at both, but uh, I, I need neither of those typings at the moment, so I think I just catch it and move on. That was pretty risky dodge. Also I am not sure at all what is super effective towards the dark type. I'm pretty sure it's dragon, but I, I am not completely sure, plus I don't have good dragon type attack at the moment, because Guivern is my dragon type, and he's pretty pacifist. Okay, I tanked one poison shot, and my armor instantly broke. Oh yeah, the temperature changes in the desert. 
And yeah, this is the real challenge of the boss fight unless you can get out of here without dying. Okay, I think my health severe just ate all my berries, but yeah, we have another boss in the desert. We have uh, Sutsaku. And yeah, even through this is like one level higher, this should be still pretty easy. I feel like... Okay, I have no idea how I didn't hit that, but I feel like I have to make another gun, honestly. No way I get it first ball. I think I'll buy this for the future. And yeah, I'm gonna keep my streak of 45s going. We are going to German Tide. We saw this guy a long time ago. But now we are actually strong enough to fight him. We are right here at the moment. Also, I have to go to this island and fight from this island. I feel like my pulse AI is not working when the enemy is on water. But yeah, this dude is dragon water. He's probably the strongest water and dragon type. Like this guy is insanely strong. Also, I'm pretty sure this guy has fire type variant as well, and he's probably the strongest fire type in the game as well. What was that? Okay, round two. That was pretty goddamn easy. Like literally I got held back by the game. Can you guys stop whatever you are doing? So yeah, the way I talked about this guy, it's probably less than surprised that he is the last team member I talked about. I'd probably say he's like this game's Kyrados as like being a serpentine dragon and being extremely good. On my like 50 hours of Pal world, I have been avoiding these places, but basically you can get rather pals from there and you instantly get chased by cops basically. There is an, uh, one new one. There was different variant of Incineram. I really want that your Montage Ignas. It's basically the dragon that I have, but fire type. I am not gonna use it by cause it will be kinda cringe to use the same Pokemon twice. Also, I am not sure do the Pokemon scale here with you. I have no idea where the cops are at the moment, since I'm trespassing. Okay, I'm pretty sure the quartz are sleeping, but I feel like the main attraction to come here is that you can get uh, Pokemon that only spawn as alphas from here. And I feel like you constantly just get attacked by the quartz if they are not asleep. And I really wanted to catch that. I catch it a random B grade and he give me a level. Yeah. I guess I'm literally just grinding these sanctuaries. I found out these places give you pretty mean experience. There is completely new Eki there. I am not sure can you get this from anywhere else other than here. Okay, I have been flying here like half an hour, but I finally found one. And honestly, if I kill this, I'm gonna fucking punch myself on the penis. Yeah. That was kinda like my main attraction. I am pretty sure you can get that from anywhere else other than here. Or breeding probably. But yeah, I'm not gonna breed if I don't have to. I wonder what level 50s are here, because turns out they don't scale with your level. Here is also a few respawns that I'm hoping to find. Okay, that didn't take long. And my thing almost one-shotted it. We fought against that guy. Okay, that wasn't long after. There's Lulen. It's at another boss that we fought against. 
I'm just very afraid that I will kill it because these spawns are pretty rare. Or like I don't know, are they actually rare but they feel like it. So far I have been just mass catching bushes. And there is probably the strongest non-Jormuntide fire type. This will be alpha later on in the game, but uh, we can already get it apparently. I am not too considered to do I catch this, because I know I will get it at some point. I was kinda considering that I don't catch this from here at all, since this will be boss later on. Okay, we are high rolling actually. I feel like that is the strongest dark type in the game. It would be pretty massive if we catch this now. I'm not gonna replace my health fur, but yeah. I'd say this is the strongest dark type. Okay, there's the last one that I was trying to find. And for the love of god, don't kill it. I have been here for a quite a long time. I really don't want to risk killing this. This is kind of the whole new thing, we can make these ingots with this and these are basically like the salt of the game from now on. And now I have better shield, then I have better balls and probably my final gun. Okay, apparently 20 was max. And yeah, I'm gonna do this to everyone. Okay, in previous clips I might have said I don't want to have to do anything with breeding if it's not necessary, but I bred this guy with this butterfly and it makes this thing for some reason. And uh, this thing is insane, but the only problem is that he's level 1. But uh, you know what? I am masochist enough to grind it. I threw a wrong ball, but it's okay. I really haven't been getting any luckies during this playthrough, but I get this one apparently twice. Okay, I teleported into the desert, and there is a lucky beacon. It feels kind of weird to say this, but apparently I am using all my luck, luck here. I got to say grinding the new Jormuntide was a lot less painful than I expected, because the catch-up experience is pretty insane. I really want to point out I didn't do this for nothing, because this is mine without investment, and this is what I used. Uh, basically, he's almost 300 stronger, just with the muscle head and lucky. Also, other thing I wanted to point out, if you want to use Jormuntide in your playthrough team, just use the Ignis variant. It's so much easier to upgrade, because you can just catch them with this thing you have to breed or catch the alpha version. Also, I'm pretty sure I could have just made it my team from scratch again and grinded everyone to 47 during that like one level grind because the uh, grinding takes so goddamn long and I still could do that while like grinding to from 47 to 50. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But that's just something I wanted to point out how tedious the grinding is. It is finally time to take on the Anubis. It's here and we saw this guy a long time ago. I am pretty sure even through Varsek is super effective to this guy, Helsa just deals more damage. Also Varsek's crash type moves suck, I feel. I am pretty sure your room tides move bugged on the ground, and that's why the sound. I guess he just dies to the burn. I didn't see the boss on the ground, so I'm gonna assume it's here. It's uh, another dinosaur. And uh, yeah, this is uh, thank god the last dinosaur that we will see as a boss. And yeah, this will be pretty free also. With the great ground type. Varsek is actually destroying it. 
Also, I feel like even I do lots of damage to this guy, so he must be really useless, even though I have like max damage, but still. Okay, I wonder how close that was. Oh yeah, that's exactly where you want to touch this. I am very confident I can do this now. I have no idea what the recommended level is though, I think it's like 45, so this should be pretty easy. So far the DPS checks were literally just camp behind the pillar simulators. I didn't have my music on, so it was pretty weird. I lost my shield because I started uh, fiddling with the settings. I feel like my full melee team isn't very great here. Literally the only one that can really do something is the Jormuntide. I got to say this is gonna be pretty close with the time, I mean. The boss is not hard, it's just the time. Also, I'm pretty sure my Jormuntides move back again, so we are gonna hear that for the rest of time, I guess. That was a little bit too close to comfort. I got the waypoint and there is a lucky one. The lucky suicide bird. I wonder do I have to climb the top of the mountain in order to find this boss. I am gonna be a bit upset if I don't see him here because I'm gonna assume he's in a cave then and I flew here for nothing. And that seems to be the case. Okay, after a long while of me just being quiet and cursing, I finally found the cave entrance. It's like right here and yeah, turns out he is in a cave. And there we have it, Aster gone. Can you attack it? Even though he looks pretty menacing, this is pretty easy boss fight. At my first glance of the game, I thought this guy was a legendary. And what even killed him, dude? Did I have dots or something? Well, I guess I have quite a lot of stuff to catch off screen. Okay, I'm not done with the Volcano Arena yet, because we have another boss here. It's right here. What? This is the place mood that I talked about when I got this first time. And honestly, I'm pretty glad that I got this guy, because if I kill this, it's not the end of the world. I guess it's just one hit again that breaks my armor. And I'm gonna go instantly for the next level 41. This can be very deadly because if it turns night outside, I'm gonna die of cold here. So yeah, I guess I'm on a time limit.
My engineer is kind of murdering this. I swear the guard this game shadow ball is so useless. And now for the final grind, basically I'm getting my level to 50, there's only level 50 bosses left and only one power boss left, and yeah, for you guys it will be over in like 2 minutes, but for me it will be like next 6 hours. Okay, my stone workers are not slacking. My wood workers are slacking, and uh, I wonder how many berries do I have because I feel like I have like 2000. Okay, never mind. But yeah, now I get motherfucking RBG, it's pretty bizarre. And I get my final upgrade to my heat armor. What's up? Even though I'm not max level yet, I can definitely do the legendaries now. If I die to them, I'm just bad, honestly. And there he is, here yeah, the dragon. I could have helmet, but helmets are for pussies. And a frostolium. my life. Ah. And there they are already fighting Paladius and uh, Necromus. Yeah. That other boss just bookers the fuck out. That is not supposed to happen by the way. Okay, I think I'll just leave because I feel like killing those now would be cheesing. Okay, round two.
those were the legendary boss fights, I genuinely enjoyed the Baldrius and uh, Necromus boss fight. And yeah, I need to rematch, you know who. It is kind of weird that that legendary is only available via breeding. This is game made in 24, what do you mean they can't big A? And that's the full ball deck, if you want to see all of these just watch them from the wiki, I'm not gonna go one by one, because it won't be way too long. But yeah, I have them all now. And here we are, at the land of absolute zero, here's the last fight of the game. And I feel like I'm just not gonna make it. My pal is gonna die, please don't. And here it is. And yeah, I will most likely just be quiet during the entire fight. Okay, I can pretty safely say that went as well as it could have been, and there is no way I can't kill that with my current team, like I need super effective to that guy. Yes! Okay, thank you, Dragon. You were pretty much mandatory in order to win that. It is pretty sad that the boss wasn't really hard, it was just you were fighting against the clock. Which I understand it's a damage check, but they should make it like 15 minutes honestly, in order to make it more fair. And this is coming from me. Even though I want this still doesn't feel like winning, because this is the same feeling that you get when you can't beat League in Pokemon Emerald, and you take the records and sweep the League with it. And my honest final thoughts on this game, if you don't like grinding, you will hate this game, but otherwise it's pretty great.